What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to drain and fill your own brake fluid and bleed the valves yourself. The owner's manual is going to tell you to change your brake fluid every 2 years and 40,000 kilometers. Also, it's going to tell you to use about 0.7 to 0.8 quarts and give you a rating of dot .3 and dot .4. What you see here is Super dot .3 by OEM. It's rated for a car and it's 500 degrees, so this is good to go. In the first part of the video, we're going to be draining and filling. And all you're going to need from the dollar store is a turkey baster, an empty water bottle, vinyl tubing, and your favorite brake fluid. The second part of the video is when you bleed the brake. That you're going to need an impact wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench, a breaker bar, and a torque wrench. And to get the wheels off, you're going to need a jack and jack stand. When you pop the hood, we're looking for a brake fluid reservoir. And that's going to be this tank in the back over here. Because brake fluid can strip the paint, we're going to put a towel down. We're going to start off by cleaning off all the dirt and contaminants in the surrounding areas. Once you're done, just wipe down the area. So this part, you just need two things. You need your water bottle and you need a turkey baster. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take the turkey baster and we're going to collect and that looks like piss. Put that in here. And we're going to try and take as much as we can out of here. Now the reservoir looks quite empty, so what we're going to do is just close the cap. Check out the difference between the new fluid and the old fluid. That's nasty. Once you're done draining, now we can fill it up with the new fluid. It's the same process. You just remove the cap and fill it up until the max line. Once you fill it up, just cap it off. And that's it guys. We are done with the first part. The drain and fill is complete. As you can see, the line is up to the max and we are good to go. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you'll enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. <coughs> now we're gonna bleed the brakes. By bleeding the brakes, we gotta lift up the car. So there's something called a master cylinder, which is that reservoir thing that we filled up. What you wanna do is bleed the valve that is farthest away from the master cylinder. Once we have the wheel taken off, we are gonna look for the caliper, which is this big thing right here that clamps. And we're gonna look for something called a bleeder valve, which is right here. This is a little cap that protects it, so you're just gonna pull it off. And there you go. Looks like the bleeder valve has been nicely preserved. All right, so remember the bottle we filled up from earlier? Don't drink this, but we're gonna need that again because we have to drill a hole just like this. I'm gonna put this pipe through this hole. You're gonna put this back inside the bottle. Screw it in. All right, so with this bottle and this pipe that I cut to length, I'm gonna place the bottle down here. And what I'm gonna do is gonna put this pipe over here, loop it around. Right at the bleeder valve, I am gonna connect this. Push it right in, and it's a super snug fit. So our setup goes as shows. We have the bleeder valve connected to our quarter inch pipe, and the pipe is gonna go up, and then it's gonna go all the way down, straight inside the bottle. In case some things are rusted, you can use like a PB blaster, spray it around here, and then brush it off. All right, so here's the valve. Here's our 10 millimeter. We're gonna put this on, and then we're gonna open it. And as you can see, there's already some liquid coming out, so that's all you need to unscrew. And you see some air bubble right there, which is really good. The next step is you wanna get into your car. So I'm gonna press on the brakes, but only halfway through and you want to press it about eight to nine times. So right now you can see it's about here and you're going to see this rise up and go all the way down. Yep, so I only pressed it three times, so we're going to do it uh, another three more times. And we're going to do this until this murky looking color becomes clear as possible. If we clearly examine this tube, there is no air bubbles, therefore the system is free of any air. So now we can go ahead and tighten this bolt back on and we can remove the tube. Hold up the tube and let it just drain down into your bottle. Once you get that done, just go ahead and cap it off. Since we drained some brake fluid and we managed to fill this bottle up a little bit more, that means we gotta put in some new brake fluid into our reservoir. It's been drained up to here and this is the max line, so we're gonna fill this up a little bit more. So let's go do that right now. Okay, once that's filled up, cap it off. Okay, so now we got three more wheels to do. Before we begin the other wheel, let's put on our new wheels back on. Remember my summertime wheel? Jeez, this is the Varstowen ES2. The size on this is 275 millimeters. Compare that to my winters, which were only 215. And that's how you bleed the brakes for the rear of the vehicle. What you want to move on to next is the driver's side of the rear, and then move on to the front starting with the passenger. It's the same process for all four calipers. Because the wheel spins, when you're taking off your front tire, you're going to need to use an impact driver. 
When you're bleeding out your front brakes, you can put your pipe around the coilover since there's no like brake line to like attach it. You notice how clear it is over here, how dark it is over here, and how super dark it is over here. Yeah, so the reason why I turned on the car is to let the pump run through the reservoir so I can start pumping it more. Check out how clear my final brake line fluid is. This is how you know you did a successful job. Make sure you top off the reservoir tank every time you bleed the valve, otherwise you may suck in air and you have to do the entire process again. Thanks for watching my video. If you guys like what you see, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.